Hello everyone, Amod here from the Target Common YouTube channel and in this video we are going to learn an important method provided by Selenium WebDriver called GetText. Let's understand the scenario in which we need to use the GetText method. If you see the login page of this demo application, we have some web elements here like some link text here and we have a button here which says sign in with Google. And here also we have a button. So whatever text we see on these kind of elements like here or here or here or here, all these are text. But the way of retrieving these text might be different. For example, if I inspect this Google sign in button, then you can find that it has been created using a tag button and we have this text which we see on the UI sign in with Google and this text is present between opening and closing button tag. Similarly, if we inspect this home link, then you can see it has been created using anchor tag and also we have a text between opening and closing anchor tag. So if you want to retrieve the text which is present between opening and closing tag, we can use the method get text. Now let's see another web element which is login. If I inspect this login button, you can see it has been created using input tag and I have already explain that we can use the input tag to create multiple input web elements. Only thing we need to pass the type. So you can see it is a submit type. That's why it is appearing as a button. And here we don't have any text between opening and closing input tag. But we have a value which is an attribute of this input tag and we see the login. The same login text we see here. So here we don't have any text between opening and closing input tag. So we cannot use the get text method here. If you want to retrieve this login value, then I need to use another method called get attribute and I need to pass the attribute name as value that I will cover in the next video. So basic we need to clear wherever we have the text between opening and closing tags, then only we can apply the get text method to retrieve the text value. Now you might be thinking, what is the use case of this method? When testing this login page, you might have requirement that after username and password or a button should be displayed where we should have the text login. Then obviously we need to verify that text. So functional testing, we can view the text and we can verify. But through automation, we need to have a way so that we can retrieve this text and assert with the expected text value. Here I have created HTML page where I have included all the possible tags with the text value. For example, here I have some tags starting from H1 to H6 and we have some text within this opening and closing tags. The only difference between these tag numbers are the size of the text which you can see on the UI. Let me quickly open this HTML page into Chrome browser and you can see the font size of these text are changing because we are using from H1 to H6. Similarly, we have button. It is also consisting some text here. Paragraph can also have the text. Anchor tag can also have some text. Similarly, we have some unordered list, then order list, which stands for OL. Then in the table also, we can have the text. So every row in the table is created using the TR and columns will be TD. If you want to have headers, then we can use the TI. So you can see we have so many web elements created using different tags and we have the text between opening and closing tags. So if you want to retrieve the text between opening and closing tags here, we can use the get text method easily. So let me do a simple example to demonstrate the usage of get text method. So I have already created a class where I am launching the Chrome browser. Let me load the HTML page. So Chrome driver dot get and let me put the HTML page URL and I'm going to get the text from H1. So I'm going to use the H1 tag name locator. So copy the tag value. Come here, use Chrome driver dot find element by dot tag name pass the tag value and directly we can call the get text method here because we know that find element returns you a web element and get text method is present in the web element interface. So let me store this output into a web element and then we can use le dot get text and you can see the return type of get text method is string. So we can store into a variable of type string and then we can print the value. Let me close the 
Dodger also. So use the quit method and let me run the program. So you can see in the console it is printing this is a heading level 1 which is coming from here. What will happen if I have spaces in the beginning and at the end? Let me save and rerun the program. We can see it is giving you the text but we don't have the spaces in the beginning or end. So it is streaming those spaces. If we have some extra space in between the text then what will happen in this case? Let me quickly save and run it. So you can see we have some white spaces in between the text but in the console we see without any white space why it is happening. If I reload this HTML page into a browser you can see here also we don't have any extra white space. So get text method will retrieve the text and show you in the same format which is shown on the UI that means on this browser. If the white space is not coming on the UI then get text is not going to give you those white spaces which we can see in the HTML page source. And if you read the get text documentation it says that the get element text command intends to return an element text as rendered. That means whatever we see on the UI it will return you the same thing. But we can pass the white spaces in multiple ways. For example, here instead of this white space, I can use NBSP which is non-breaking space. I use ampersand then NBSP semicolon. Similarly, I can have multiple. So let's add two more and here also I can have some spaces. Let me save, go to browser, reload this page and here you can see we have some extra white spaces. And if I run this program again, this time we are going to get the text with the spaces as shown on the UI which you can see here. Now let's see some more scenarios. Here I have another HTML page where I have the nested inner text. We have the parent tag starting with A which is anchor and this anchor tag consists another child tag which is span. So in this case span also have some text which is inside A and this anchor tag also have some text here which is between opening and closing anchor tag. So if you call the get text method here on this anchor element then you are going to get this text plus this text. But if you call the get text method on this span then you are going to get only this value. So let's track it quickly. So let me quickly load the another page and also I am going to use the tag name locator here which is A. So chrome diver dot find element by dot tag name use A and I am directly going to call the get text method here and also I will pass the value to sysout. Let me run this program and see what it is returning. So you can see we have called the get text method on anchor. So it has returned span text which you can see here. Then we have this value. This is a link to example.com. So it has combined inner text of all the child tags and it will return. If you have multiple children here then it is going to combine the text of all the children. Now let's call get text method on this span which is child of A. So instead of A just change to span and also add quit method so that browser should be closed after executing. So this time you can see it has written only the span text. Why? Because we have called the get text method the child element. So hope you are clear. Let's see the last scenario. I have another HTML page and it is on order list where I have three list elements. So here also we have the nested inner text. So inside li we have span and then we have some text between li and this span tag also have their own inner text. But you can see I am using a class here which is hidden text. You can give any name to this class name and if you see the style here I am using the display equal to none. That means I have hidden this text. So if I am going to call the get text method on ul or li then this particular highlighted text will not be returned. Why? Because this text has been hidden. Let me open this page into Chrome. And here you can see it is showing only this is a list item with hidden text. But in real we have more text here which is not displayed on the browser also. So if anything is not displayed on browser then get text is not going to return that text value. If you see the Java doc of wave element interface and go to get text method it says that 
get the visible not hidden by css text of this element including sub element that means if any text part has been hidden using css then it is not going to return you that value so let me call the get text method on this particular html page so let me load the new html page and i'm going to use the sysout chrome driver dot find element by dot tag name and let me use li and call the get text method so if you see this html page we have multiple li tag so if i using the find element method then it is going to return the first matching web element so we should expect this text as a result so let me quickly change the text value also for the first one i will use the list one for the second one list two and for the third one list three so that we can differentiate which li it has faced so let me quickly run this program and see what is the output so you can see it has written the text from the list one and it has not given me the hidden text of li which, which is this text is hidden so i have tried to cover different scenarios with the get text method i hope you must have liked it so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone